Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, citizens of all ages, Will here, and today I present to thee the Gladiator. So, the Gladiator, built by, I believe it was Anvil? Uh, yeah, pretty sure it's Anvil. Same people who bring the Hornet line. Uh, Gladiator is a carrier-based bomber, as they call it, um, which basically means it is a, I guess you could call it short to medium range bomber. Um, by that, it doesn't have huge fuel tanks, um, but I mean, it'll get you around. Um, however, if you're trying to go, you know, system hopping and, and go to, you know, more than one, you're probably... That caterpillar is standing on its nose. Okay. Is that... That looks like it's landed. That completely just threw me off. Um, so like I was saying, the uh, gladiator <laughs> is a short-range bomber. Um, it has two size three on the wing. It's got two size ones in the turret, and the turret can be manned uh, by a, another individual there. However, in my opinion, uh, if you have another person in that turret, you're kind of losing uh, fighting prowess. Your, your combat effectiveness goes down, in my opinion. Um, also has four missiles on its wings and as well as those four missiles it also carries some size 5 torpedoes now those torpedoes for being size 5 are pretty devastating actually um, let's go see what's going on over here um, so hypothetically if I were to hit this caterpillar with those torpedoes he would have a bad day um, obviously we're at Port Olisar, so we can't, but I wonder what this guy is doing. <laughs> like, why does he, he, I think he's purposely trying to balance the thing. I mean, look at that. That is kind of funny. And look, I'm not the only one intrigued by what's going on here. <laughs> That is throwing me off. Okay, let's um, let's carry on with our day. So the Gladiator uh, is very similar to the Hornet. Uh, like I previously stated, they are made by the same uh, company, so the style guide is going to be relatively similar. Uh, I do believe I have IR and heat-seeking missiles as well as. The cluster missiles, uh, the rattlers as they're called, and I have to say this is probably my favorite bomber in the game. Um, now I know some people will point to uh, the Retaliator, and the Retaliator is nice, I mean I guess. It, uh, I had one for about a week, but the lack of uh, pilot controlled weapons, even if they were just static or, you know, uh, front facing only, kind of like the, uh, Glaive, uh, that would have made it better, even if they were just size 2s, just something that the, the pilot could protect himself with. Uh, it doesn't, having five turrets, having five unmanned, or, sorry, Having five manned turrets, which need to be manned in order to be functional, does not make up for really anything. Um, just because the ship itself uh, is modular and you can throw a couple different modules in where the bomb bays are, uh, I still think it's kind of... Uh, they, they could have utilized that ship better, in my opinion. Especially given the fact that really, 
the only thing uh, the retaliator would be good at taking down quickly, at least in this state of the game, would be like a Starfarer or another retaliator, which wouldn't even be necessary, or a caterpillar, which also wouldn't be necessary, given the fact that the caterpillar, at least for the pirate weapons, just has four size one M3As, and the retaliator again has zero pilot weapons. I mean, it's nice on the inside, you know, aesthetically, it's really cool. I like that it kind of has that air submarine. Uh, kind of vibe. When I walked around the, the tally, it definitely gave me like a submarine vibe, you know, with those torpedoes. Um, you know, hunt for Red October type stuff. And I was digging the, the uh, aesthetic. The interior aesthetic was really nice. The exterior aesthetic is really nice. It's like a, an elongated uh, stealth bomber. But that's it. Um, you know, if you're in a tally, and you're flying around and, you know, an Aurora uh, starts hassling you, you are actually in trouble. Uh, you face the very real threat that an Aurora is going to take down your capital ship killer. And to me, that's beyond asinine. That's like, that's like having a tank uh, with no armor. It's like, well, what's the point, you know? Or it's like having a tank that has guns on it, but, uh, you know, you need three people to run it. It's like, well, what's the point? I, and before you jump on me in the comments, I already understand it takes more than one person to drive a tank optimally. I understand there's a driver, there's a gunner, but just, just shut up. Stop, stop splitting hairs on me. <laughs> um... No, but again, you know, if the Retaliator had even just two front-facing size 2 weapons, you know, each, kind of like the uh, Eclipse. The Eclipse is going to hold, I think it said, four size 9 torpedoes. Uh, don't quote me on that, but it's going to have at least... <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> it's already confirmed that it's going to have two front-facing weapons, size 2s. And yeah, it's not going to be uh, a fighter by any stretch of the definition, but it at least has some def defensive capabilities. I mean, hell, you get a, a ship that's fast enough, all you need are two badgers on there, even if they're not gimbaled. Just two badgers, and if you can line up your shots correctly, guess what? You're, you're good. You're at least going to stave off the enemy. Um, or at least give you an actual fighting chance, but slightly intended, um, that, uh, you know, you'll be able to survive. So, that's where, in my opinion, the Gladiator comes in. Now, again, you know, it only has, uh, what? Come on, let's, let's, let's get out of the ship now. It only has the, uh, size... Why does it think I'm moving? Reduce velocity, I am. I am reduced. I am stabilized, why won't it let me out? Okay. There was something that crashed, apparently. And, watch, I'm not going to be able to do the mission. Okay, so... Let's eject. Can I eject? Alright, I guess not. And now none of my keys are working. Oh. Alright. Um, let's try this. Uh, so like I was saying before I got completely thrown off my train of thought for... Uh, like the sixth time, uh, the Retaliator has the size, I think, nine or ten torpedoes, and those are gonna pack a hell of a wallop, but they're gonna be slow. They're gonna be really, really slow. And 
That's why I'm more partial to the Gladiator. Sure, you're basically getting torpedoes that are half the size, but those torpedoes are also going to have a little bit more speed. Um, and with that, you're going to be able to hit some of those targets that you normally wouldn't be able to with a size 9. You know? Um, so... With the, uh... Sorry, I, I keep getting thrown off. I'm, I'm just trying to figure out why it won't let me out of my ship. So I'm thinking maybe if I jump... It might... Maybe there's like a small glitch going on, but... <clears throat> Gladiator, you know, it's smaller. If you could fit it, uh... Probably into a Polaris. So... A Polaris alone has the, I think, like 20... Size 9 or 10 torpedoes. In conjunction with a smaller gladiator, I mean, you know. So try this again. The tally is just unusable, in my opinion, uh, in its current state and in the game's current state. It's it's nice to have. It's nice to look at, but in my opinion, that's about it. Um, Gladiator all the way, and plus for the price of a Retaliator, you could probably get two Gladiators. Um, you could get at least a Gladiator and a Hornet, or you could get a Constellation. Now granted, a Constellation doesn't have torpedoes, but the Andromeda has like, I think just short of 50? Uh, missiles on it all together. Uh, I think it's like 24 per side, uh, port and um, starboard. So you get a lot of armaments for about, oh, if you go with the heavy bomber price, which I think was like 275 or so, uh, compared that to the Andromeda's, what, 225? I mean, you're saving 50 bucks right there. And you've got weapons, and they're size 4, and the pilot can control them, as well as the turrets. And really, all you need is those extra two turrets, especially with the weapons that come equipped with it. So, the Gladiator is definitely more what I would consider uh, a great, great deal for a bomber. And the fact that the pirates aren't spawning leads me to believe there may be an issue with the server. Especially if it won't let me out this time. Uh oh. Oh shit! Oh, I'm dead. Oh, my god. Okay. Miraculously, I didn't die. Probably just damaged my nose. Everything looks to be intact. Turn the lights off. Go into stealth mode. And, yep, uh, it just crashed. Alright, well I guess that's going to do it for the video on the Gladiator. Um, so if you like this vid, uh, you know, leave a like. Uh, give me a comment, because that does really help me out. And if you want to see more videos like this, uh, drop them down in the comments. Tell me which ships you want to see, and I will be happy to oblige. So on that note, uh, this has been Will. Uh, you've just seen some of the Gladiator, and you have yourself a wonderful evening. Peace.